ciao. How are you today? Uh, first of all, welcome back to V12Design. Um, it, it may not look like, but in these past two decades, mankind hasn't been too bad at embracing and adopting newer and greener ways of producing electricity. And I mean solar panels, wind farms, hydroelectrics, on and on and on. You know what I'm talking about. But we need to look at hard facts and the growing population with its growing needs for energy and being energy production the single biggest contributor to CO2 production and, and pollution in general mean that uh, no matter what we are currently doing we are struggling to catch up with the growth of CO2 emission. So whilst the percentage of greener ways of producing electricity energy is growing, we would need a technology that allows us to swipe CO2 under a metaphorical carpet until that day arrives. And funny enough, um, this technology exists and it's called CCUS, Carbon Capture, Utilize and Storage. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in details and I sincerely hope you will do that on my behalf because that's the spirit of V12 Design Sparks, right? But basically this technology allows us to grab CO2 from the atmosphere, isolate it and store it following two main principles, the two variants of this technology. Either stocking it in the, the, the deeper part of the earth soil, okay, or binding it with some inert material to make material like construction material, okay, therefore trapping CO2 within matter. Um, no matter which of the two solutions will prevail, or they may both uh, exist, it's a technology that is no longer in laboratories, it's important, there's already uh, industrial size plants uh, in Canada and in Britain and typically we tend to position these CCUS plants right beside big CO2 emitters like for instance old school power plants. Production of CO2, bam, I immediately grab it and treat it, filter it, store it. Okay, you got it. There are two main concerns I want to share with you, hoping that you will look into this technology. One, um, some fear that such technology could become an excuse that lazy governments and equally lazy uh, industrial groups may use in order to excuse them from following stricter and stricter uh, emission rules. And I see that point a little bit, sadly enough. Second, this process is expensive. Uh, not expensive like a, a um, scientifically underdevelopment laboratory style type of technology. I told you, we already have working plants, but it doesn't make any money. And unfortunately, until we manage to either reduce the cost immensely or even better, turn this process profitable, it will be hard to get large groups, industrial groups, large polluters to commit to such technology, which at the moment they only see as a cost. So the real challenge now is not only improving this technology because it's a young technology with quite a few flows still, but improve it keeping an eye on how to make it profitable because the second we will manage that well then we'll be able to scale up the adoption of this technology. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Did you know about this technology? Do you think it could be used as an excuse? As usual, let me know and most of all make sure you make an opinion of your own, look into this topic and remember that nothing is better than being informed to avoid silly ideas, fake news, you know what I'm talking about. So, until the next V12 Design Spark, I hope you'll take care of yourself and I will see you very soon. Ciao!